Hey, that thing's scary. Yeah, no, hey, it's, it's, uh, it's too cold on that tire to try to stick it from a 40 roll like I just did. <laughs> hey, that was pretty dumb for the first time ever driving it. I mean, it's literally, I think it's what, 12 degrees outside right now? It's like 10 or 12 degrees outside right now. And, and now it's 15, but it's also windy, so it feels like cold. Yeah, so that, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, I don't know, man. You, you can't drive it around like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we will, uh, we'll start sending some data logs, driving it around a little bit. Yeah, it feels like negative three. So, That's what the tires felt like. Yeah. And then they got real hot. Yeah, they did. All right. We are here. All right. We're here in the shop. And uh, we're going to work on the F-150 a little bit today. So, this thing's heavy. I mean, it's an aluminum body, but it's still somehow 4,500 plus pounds. So, a little company called uh, Motion Race Works, and they own another little company called TBM, the Brake Man. And uh, they make some lightweight brakes for this rig. Yeah. We got some. And we're going to show you guys how easy they are to bolt on and lose 50 pounds right off. Well, we don't really know. We've never done it, but we heard it's easy. I've heard it's easy. I, I would I did it on my truck, so I know how easy it was there, and I assume it's pretty much the same with this, but maybe not. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna show y'all how this deal works out. And we understand there hasn't been a lot of uh, uh, updates on this. Uh, really, the only thing that we can say is uh, the only update that we can give you is that I messed this thing up. So, so long story short, we got a new blower for it. New, new Billy bad boy from Whipple. We put it on and now it's got to go back to fuel tech to be finished. I mean, finished it, and fixed from what I did. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we messed it up because we're morons, uh, you know, as the title suggests, you know, we drove this thing around a little while with a pinched five volt reference <laughs> for a little while. Um, you all, well, it all wasn't this, right. All, we uh, knew that it wasn't right. Yeah. We just thought, man, it ain't warm yet. And uh, it was kind of popping and banging a little bit. It, it wasn't shifting right. And then Nothing, it wasn't us. doing anything right. Uh, so I ended up getting mad. I stuck it one time pretty good. Uh, it still made power, but it, it was made. it was very unhappy power is what it was. Uh, scared Phantom. It scared uh, you. Man, it scared me <laughs> for a second just because it was cold and the drag radials were even colder. Uh, the tra there was no traction control, <laughs> and the that? tires were probably doing 200 mile an hour. Even after I lifted, they were still spinning. Was it so. Jerry Chambers that you used to call them drag radios? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it was. Probably. No. <laughs> so, you know, one of those things. Uh, we feel like uh, maybe we burnt some stuff up in the ECU. Um, yes, we could probably pull the ECU out of the donk or out of the, the Nova or something, but... There was a few other things that needed to be done anyways. So we are going to do the stuff to lose weight, take it to them, get it right, and then pick it up from them and go straight to the track to test it. No, yeah. uh, I mean, and I, gotta go, and I gotta go over there and get the Hemi for the MPK car. He's anyways, gotta go so. anyways to, to pick up the, the, the new, well, the new because we destroyed the old one. Yeah, what was uh, supposed to be our spare is now our, our main. Yeah. yeah so, so, uh, Basically, while it's not running, we're still going to do some upgrades to this to make it lighter. Um, it's stuff that's got to be done anyways. So, so I know um, when I put these brakes on stop truck, man, I, I, I ain't even going to BS you. I feel like they worked better than my stock brakes. I, yeah. I, I truly believe that. So hopefully it's the same thing here. But we'll find out shortly. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead, click the subscribe button. Uh, you guys know the drill here. Share the channel, comment, and uh, I don't know, ask us some questions about this deal, and we'll answer them if we can. And uh, I don't know. Enjoy the video. We'll show you how this deal works out. What uh, we got going on, on with your arm there? I see a bunch of old men doing it. Yeah. I th just thought I'd try it out some, and see what happens. Did you have some melanoma removed? Yeah. Or? <laughs> I, look, I had a few spots. <laughs> it was it was we from the Australian sun last year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All the stuff that those people told me in Australia about how I should have worn. Uh, yeah. Remember uh, when your mom sunscreen? kept telling you you didn't have enough sunscreen on over there? 
<laughs> that lady in line told me that. Remember, she kept putting it on me. Uh huh. It was kind of weird. Uh, I got some tattoos, and I spent uh, this morning out in the sunlight, and it was beaten down on them. Oh yeah. And it was it's like you fun. could feel it burning. It's always fun. So I thought I would cover it up, and also I didn't want it to get it all dirty, but it, it's got wrap on it. So little tegaderm. Yeah. Ooh. It's got stuff on it. Wrigley Field. That just is a, a Wrigley little, Field. Little preview. Yeah. But I got it all, pretty much this whole thing yeah. done. We'll talk about it whenever I get the rest done, but I'm going to set probably all day Sunday. Yeah. Too. You know, MPK's coming up. Got to yeah. get some stuff done. Yeah. Do we need to read some stuff on here? Uh, I mean, you can. I would assume you can look at it and see what needs done, but. I'm hoping. Ooh, I go throw this on the fire. Huh? Some little kindling right there. Yep. This looks like big bolt. Yep. Oh, we gotta we gotta put some stuff together here. Yeah. Little lightweight caliper brackets. Lightweight. That's a big rotor. It is. That's bigger than the one that was on my truck. Thick. Oh, Holy it's thick, crap. boy, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's it's gonna stop good. Yeah. That's the only thing I was worried about. A, a truck this heavy? Yeah. I, I mean, honestly, they need the duels. But yeah. man, that thing is thick. So like, I, man, I'm serious. They stop on well, my truck. That that last race I had at, at BNR. Mm -hmm. Man, dude, like I was trucking down through there and there was road construction at the corner and man, I, I got it shut down in time. I, I don't think I could have with my old brakes that was on I mean, the truck I, before I then. I feel like Cletus got the first set of these, right? He did. He Cletus did. got he, the first I mean, set and we've had these for a while. We just haven't had no time to put them on. We're running out of time to do stuff. Yeah. Man, it's a pretty nice piece. Yeah. They actually go that way. this way. Yep. Yeah, so these these are a direct bolt on. Uh, we'll unbolt the stock stuff, and then you've, he's got caliper brackets there. They'll bolt in place of the factory stuff, and then the caliper obviously bolts to this, and then we got a brake line kit from them also um, to adapt to the factory stuff. I'll be right back. So. We'll go throw this in the fire. <laughs> Sean's got a fire out here. He's just. He's like a kid with a new toy out yes. here with this fire. I'll show y'all, we got a, got a little burn barrel and everything. Yeah. He's been cleaning up upstairs, trying to make room for things. Ooh, it's still burning. I see it. Y'all know what color, color that barrel used to be. Yep. Sean's favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've got a few more Connexes coming Ooh. in here. So, oh yeah, finna be a, a blaze. You're gonna set somebody's house on fire. I know, that's what Aaron said. <laughs> oh, everyone, the, not everyone. Well, no, we won't talk about that. People get mad about the members only stuff. A bunch of the morons were asking about what that chassis was up there. Oh yeah. Well, it's not our fault they get mad about it. Yeah. Nope, so. Like, I just, I, look, I watch a lot of YouTube and I have the choice whether I want to be a member of yeah. somebody that I watch or not. We will never make our content behind a paywall. No. Everyone will always get to see all the main videos. However, we have something that you can join if you choose. And sometimes we do some live stuff on there or, uh, you know, they get to see the videos a day or two early. Yeah. Or they get a discount on our merch. Which is not a big deal. Yeah. Like I, I've been to some out. people's pages and I've been like, oh, I can't see this because it's members only. Yeah. And then I go, huh, and then I find something else. Yeah. But I still watch their stuff that's yes. that's free. Yeah, none of none of our videos you have to pay for. But if you do pay, you get to see them early. That's all. All right, so let's just sit down here and do this first. Oh yeah, let me get you some red lock tight. It's about time for some new New thing, a Loctite? Yeah. Oh, Mac. 
matching gold lug nuts. It's good if you put them all the way on, bust them loose, and then work it off, and then just barely spin Otherwise them like that. Otherwise, stuck. they get stuck on there. Yeah. But they look cool. Yeah, they're light. They're lightweight. Lightweight. So just a little bit of difference here. Yeah. All right, well. Ooh. Electronic. All right. Just gonna pull that off. I just get the big bolt off of here and peel the whole thing off, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't wanna peel this off until, well, it doesn't matter. Gotta, gotta bleed them anyways. Does that fit on this? Or is there different brake lines? No, we got we, oh, got, we got brake lines. lines, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I can probably get to that. And we gotta pull it all the way off to here, huh? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna set these over here until it's on time to to get it all out. So this side's almost done. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, it's it's pretty simple. Yeah, no, it's it's gonna be a 30 minute deal for both sides. Yeah. Super simple. It's like they truly made this a bolt-on product. I mean, and right here I'm just gonna do this and wow. It's a tight fit. That's, that's close, man. What you think? That looks pretty good to me. <laughs> it does to me too, honestly. Put the pads on it and call this side done. Yeah, let me see. Oh, we still gotta do the lines. Let me see the pads. I don't like this. Oh yeah, that's uh, probably my least favorite part. I'd rather just have a regular old cotter pin. Yeah, I don't, I don't see. The problem is, is I don't have my glasses, so I can't really uh, see how it works. Yeah. You got any glasses in here? I do. Straighten that rig out. <laughs> <Not right>. <laughs> <laughs> Let this right here will tell me how close it is. Man, that's, that's it. Yeah. And there it is. Now we will get the lines out, get the old line off, screw the new one on, boom, done. Um, all right, where's the lines at? I uh, thought they were sitting there. Oh, they're right here. Let's see what we're working with here. So if you order this kit for this truck, the lines they suggest to use with it are these. You can get them from Motion Raceworks as well. They're for a Mustang, obviously. All right. Um, can you get me that size? What size? Oh, that size right there. Um, What's like 15? 13. 13? 13. All right. I'll knock the other one out way quicker than this side. Now that I know how not to do it. Yep. 
This is the practice side. Yeah. A little bitty dust cap. It's a little guy. Yeah. It's cold outside. Right, what we got? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need this, need this. Still. Yeah, I yeah. just have a regular old cotter pin. I mean, that's that. I mean, literally, like you said, that line up there is the hardest part. Other than that, this is a 30 minute job and it is truly a bolt on deal. Like we didn't fabricate nothing. We didn't have to drill any holes, didn't have to weld anything. Well, we cussed a couple of times. It only required a couple of cuss words. Like that's pretty cool. And lost 50 pounds, lost 50 pounds in less than an hour. Easiest 50 pounds I've lost. Yeah. All right, I bent that back over it. That's good to go. Uh, do you want to get in it? Actually, let's lower it down, make sure there's plenty of oh, fluid yeah. in it, and then let's bleed them and we're done. I'm cleaning her all up. Yeah. I think we're good to go. All bled. Plus, I wanted to smell this. Yeah, know? it smells good. The suspension cleans. The suspension clean and the SC1. <sighs> all right, nice. raise this thing up. I'll put these wheels on, and then we'll uh, load this baby on a trailer and head to fuel tech, right? You know, after we jump the battery again. <sighs> Damn AGM batteries. <laughs> Need to uh, just put a excess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they look good. What's that? They look good. Yeah. Ah. Uh, huh? Forgot. For real yeah it's a nice it's a nice upgrade for sure yep like i yes. wonder if they're planning on doing the rears yes they are are they yep. and that's, that's honestly a lot of and 50 pounds is 50 pounds but a lot of that is rotating mass also yeah we could uh put a nine inch in this deal and put brakes on it now i know i'm sure we'll end up doing that but First things first, we gotta get it right. Right. And let's just be honest, right now, it's not. Something ain't right, so. Uh. Oh, it's Dude, that thing's scary uh, as fuck. Day over here, Steel, so we headed east from Oklahoma. Yeah. Fuel Tech well, headed west. We, we met here at the track, and uh, we're about to see. We got a trans brake. About button? to see what we can get done Just with the, both the, of them. They were the bottom of the ship. Yeah. Man, they just, they literally just now told me as I get, right before I get in that scary fucking <laughs> F-150, huh? That now it has a trans brake. It's trans brakes, right? It's like, it, it's a well, race it car. Well, it a lot of turbos on it then. It's a race car, so like, yeah. literally. Right. That way we can make 2200 horsepower Why instead not? of 12. Why not? They he said, you tell us. He said that he calmed it down so it's not just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. everywhere whenever you stab the throttle. Oh, so, that, hey, look, I'm telling you right now, that truck is the scariest vehicle you own. <laughs> I know. Like, we're sitting it's here testing. It's yeah. Yeah. It's 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 light switch. We're about to it's test right now, and I'm way more nervous about getting in that F-150 than I am, you know, the 3000 horsepower. Yeah, the car that's going to be all over the place on a 28 and but I'm the, comfortable in that yeah though. you only start four wheel drive two wheel drive uh we've been four we've actually drive. talked about that like where do you start like do you want to drive well, something honestly, let's do it two wheel drive two wheel yeah let's oh, do two drive <laughs> I, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> so it's gonna no, be we're making it easier, okay? Two so it's shifting a little lower, uh -huh. and uh, we're taking a lot of timing based on throttle position. Okay. So actually, as he decks, it takes a lot of timing out. So it doesn't, it's, doesn't, it's not full power by any means, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, so we're not just gonna stick it with the fourteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think everything is working with the truck so far. The track is going to be killer. We're going to find out. Oh, yeah, okay. that's, that's pretty much what we're here for. Right? Yeah, yeah. Find me out. So there's a couple of things that we haven't done that okay. everybody says you have to do to make them things hook. It's okay. still got a front sway bar on it. You know, a couple of stuff like that. We're going to find out. I think I'm, we'll I'm be fine scared. here on this track. I'm you know scared. what I mean? Because yeah. it's so good. But once we get scared. to a lesser track or the street. It was the anti-roll bar. 
It was the anti roll bar that I don't think we've ever adjusted. What do you guys need to do? I need to sit in it and just huh. On the back? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's got a it's got a full blown anti roll bar. It's not a sway bar. Okay, okay. Uh three hundred M shaft. Yeah, it's got a three hundred M shaft uh anti roll bar. <laughs> like okay. it's it's yeah. it's a good one. So and I don't think I've ever sat in it and we've oh, adjusted it. Oh, maybe not. No, no, no. I bet it's off because I noticed what uh the shop is really flat, it just sits like this. So you ain't you ain't very close. <laughs> yeah. If you want your car to go faster, put Luis in it. Yep. Oh my god. It's a hundred pounds off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um we probably should check that at least. Okay. At least I think we can get underneath that thing to No, you show this plane room. Yeah. It's pretty tall. Well, we'll lower the front end a little because it's ugly high. No, it looks good. Yeah. I like it. I like I can tell y'all did. Flat now. I, I just I wasn't real sure the angle of the oh yeah of, of mm -hmm. the you know the front end drive shafts oh yeah the CVs yeah the CVs I wasn't real sure you know the angles of those but I have seen a lot of people have them lower than what mine is and yeah I think well, we need to see where the doesn't leave right we, yeah. we need to figure out this yeah we, we have no idea yeah. so I, I'm good with whatever man we'll go out there if I feel something weird I'll lift yeah so but, it's gonna be like a race car. Right. Trans yeah, no, it's, something, not it's something like a race car. <laughs> trans brake. What is the trans brake? Show me, show me the trans brake. The OEM button on the shifter that I leave it for. <laughs> Toe hole. Slow down. The yeah. OEM button is here to go crazy. So you just put it on. Oh. So just. Uh, the ignition right on. Yeah. You have two set. Hey, what is it? Fits the town, bud. <laughs> yeah. So just. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, you're gonna have the shifter lower too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll just. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Right. Transfer. Look at that. Whatever. <laughs> See, you have the transfer where it goes to. Oh yeah. Right button. Oh yeah. It says T for trans brake. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Not T for towing. <laughs> yeah, and so this drive mode. drive mode. There's no towing mode, but aggressive yeah. mode. And I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you are. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have the same thing. So, like, we're going to do like a timing ramp so she's not aggressive on the leaf. We feed with timing so it goes back, but she's still going to run less timing than what she makes a lot of power because we want to see how she behaves on the shifts. We don't have the first gears that have too much reduction, you know, and that. That leverage is not needed at all on this. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't think so either. Like that, the a, first gear is just out of control. I knew first gear yes. was, and I even talked about skipping second too, and yes. that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna skip we're gonna second. skip second. We're gonna leave in third, and we're gonna see what happens. So, I mean, this first one we just need to make it to the end and get some data. Yeah, I believe this thing actually has a pretty sweet ratio. It leaves on a two ten, then it goes to like a one fifty one. Then it goes to Sounds one like twenty something. Like then it goes to a one zero. Oh, so it's I, like actually it's one two ten, one eighty, oh, one fifty, one oh, just something. Bam, bam, bam. So it'll just bit 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 bit, but it's gonna be locked up every in every gear, right? Every gear, yeah, every gear. Okay. So the first we'll live without the lockup, and then we'll lock. We we need to understand where we may need to go. Right about the time it knocks the tires off. Pretty much. That's gonna be. <laughs> that's gonna. That's gonna be where. Okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, it, it, later in the future. Is it going to be worth it to put real time on this? Active traction control. Active? Sorry, I, I always call. I don't it know where you get real time name, right? from. I don't know. Yes, I don't because know. this is the deal. I, I'm sure I've got it from him. Oh. Yeah, because like this is the deal. Uh, it's really useful and mostly on unknown surface, right? Because you can do time base here. You can try to do time base here, but you're always behind the eight ball. There's nothing you can do, right? The active one, it's the other way. It's always trying to understand what's going on but it's not as precise as trying to go 350s on the track, yes. right? So on the track, it's not that useful, but if you have an unknown track, like a bare concrete back of the track or no prep style deal and they are not keeping properly or this kind of surface, it's actually better. And it works really well on four-wheel drive as well because you will have the reference between mixing the tires and you can have where it doesn't activate on a really low speed. So if she tries to pull the front end up, it won't affect, right? But it's four-wheel drive, it'll move, right? Yeah, yeah. But if for whatever reason tries to get a little faster, I don't know, move some kind of clutch backs on the train, it's a little slower on the back, it doesn't matter. 
we can cut for early, right? And then as she lands, she will be doing. Uh, also, yeah. we learn where she can take it. The only thing that may happen is if you start going away tire slip, she would keep going always slowly, but never out of control. Yeah. Never out of control. Yeah. So at least gonna be easier for you to drive. At least. Yeah. Well, and, and it would be easier than pulling up to a road going, man, let's try to go this fast and putting a, a, a gear yes. retard in it. Have you, know you drove I mean? a fast four wheel drive car before? No. Okay. No. It's not that complicated, honestly. Oh, I, I heard it was. Uh, no, the deal is this, you cannot, correct steering as aggressive. So this thing, right? You drive on the street, sometimes you need to do a quick yeah. and come back, right? Don't mm -hmm. do that on four-wheel drive. You will steer the front end really aggressive, right? So- Got it. Just making sure. So like if, if she's on four-wheel drive and start moving away from you, smaller corrections, because she comes back quicker because the front end moves, Yeah. right? Yeah. So that's the only thing that you need to do. Besides that, it's fine. It ain't complicated, honestly. It's similar to a front wheel drive car, because the same way. You can't just like yank a front wheel drive car and that thing like whoop, right? Just moves really aggressive. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. As soon as we peel this thing off the wall, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> Why? You'll be fine, bud. You getting back in the Nova? No. No? It's like uh, we're gonna see what happens with the Ford. For, for, I don't know what to do in it. For finally. Yeah. I don't know what to do in it, but we're gonna find out. You just put it in D and mash the skinny pedal, right? Usually, you know, and then yeah, and then jerk the wheel. But not too fast. Yeah, saw, saw the shit out of the wheel is what we're gonna do. Yep. Uh, we're not gonna leave in four wheel drive. Oh, see, really? Yeah, we're gonna see what it'll do in two wheel drive. And that track's pretty good. Go from there, oh, yeah. I think it'll be fine. So, do we need to ice it down? It's warm, you have a, a lot of ice? Uh, we don't have a lot, but we got some. We got enough to fill this up. Man, it's just running more fuel, less timing than ever. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about and it. Then we ice if it should start working right. Okay. Right. Okay. I won't worry about it. So then. Sean, huh? This is not like a Turbo 400. So the first thing that I <laughs> notice is this: the trans brakes is lower. Oh, yeah, so yeah, a Turbo yeah. 400, it can hold it stand one up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so a lot of the four ladies are like that too. Yeah. Right? So get it, and you feel it, right? I'll and then it. you can back I'll it. Break it just a little bit, yeah, and then yeah, make sure it's yes, good. Yes. Are we doing this deal? Uh, yes. All right. Am I in it or not? What was a mile an hour? Uh, 116. 150, 60 150 foot. flat, 60 foot. I mean, it's getting, getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Nice. Downshift is way better. Nice. Way you better. <laughs> uh, on the track, you can see there, I think there's a problem with the locker. 
When you left, just to the problem is it's not a locker. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> that's the real problem. I think it's got clutches. Okay, yeah. can we put like a uh, spool okay. on this locker? That's, that's what I wanted to do. So, but everybody told no? me not to. Who said no? Let's just put a. No I didn't tell you <laughs> it's anything. 2024. We need names. Who I, said I don't look. Look, I don't Ford. Okay. Who? Oh. Pretty sure that he was like, this is what all the guys that yeah so and so are running. I was like, why would we not put a locker in it? Pretty sure I asked that. Okay. Yeah, I know. Can we do hey, I get it though. Do All the Why don't we just dudes? put a nine inch in it with a spool yeah, and make this thing fast? Freaking spool. Let's just pull on this thing. And then we can push it. I mean, it's gonna be fast. Oh, it's gonna the, be fast. The, the shifting is still, man, it fucking shifts hard. It shifts <laughs> harder than anything that I own. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. It just and means it, it needs more power to smooth it out a little. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'll bet the G goes way up when this thing shifts. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's shifting locked up. Yeah. So made it back here to the shop after a uh, pretty good day of testing. To be totally honest, that's probably the best day of testing we've ever had with any vehicle we've got. <laughs> I mean, that's totally, sad. like, totally honest. Like, yeah. it started out pretty rough with the Ford or whatever, but, you know, the OG was just solid all day. Well, honestly, it depends on who you ask. If you ask people who are realists or if you ask people who are waiting to see us fail on the Ford on how it went. Yeah. Uh, I felt like it went pretty good. Uh it's a full weight truck, air conditioner. I haven't done anything. Sway bars are still on the front. Yeah. Like we haven't done anything to lose weight with that truck. We haven't, uh, we have, we just haven't got to that point yet. It's, it's, let, let's just be honest, man. The, the transmission tuning's tough. Yeah. We knew that. Yeah. There's been m multiple other companies who have tried to tune that or to, to run that is, is what I hear anyways. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, with the people talking about just save yourself a whole lot of beating your head off the wall and, and let the, the computer, you know, the stock ECU run the transmission, yeah. man, they're probably right. It probably would have been easier. Yeah. So Nothing so, worth doing is easy. Yeah, so here's the thing. The, the, the whole deal with the fuel tech on the Ford, it's just another option for people moving forward, right? Like, we're not saying that, fuel tech is better than the guy that tunes all these trucks that makes them fast or anything like that it, it's not about that that guy is good we know he's good like it is what it is We're, we never said he's not nope but this is another option for people and fuel well, techs are and, people and, and kind of we're r and in this for them yeah we're, 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 we never you could you can't show me one post or one thing that we said where we said fuel tech's got the 10 r's down <laughs> they're gonna take over that, that's 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 that not never, what it's about that never happened yeah so uh and it's still like it shifted hard but it's still got some work to do yeah you know and, and that's the reason work. it's not sitting here yeah. we went testing we are indeed yep. they're going back are they going back to do the r or are they going back to do the d they've they've already researched it and now they're going to do some developing okay so <laughs> Yes, we went out and we tested, and they're going to go back and do some more D. Yeah, <laughs> yes, correct. So then we'll go test it again, and then yeah. see where it's out after that. And everyone, nothing, nothing, even Ford, GM, whatever you want, whatever. Yeah, because I kind of feel like that 10R might be a GM product. They're so they're the same thing, but there's <laughs> something. Is, it so is. it's it's weird. It's the same, but it's different. Because yeah. someone will sit there and tell you they're the exact same, and then they'll go, "We'll accept the valve body." Yes. Valve body's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyways, with that being said, somebody spent a long time r and in that. Oh, absolutely. They spent well, millions. Well, then not just going to come in the first one and first attempt and, yeah. and just nail it. We knew that. Yep. And, and, and we are on the road with MPK enough to know 
that if I don't have that Ford back for a year, yeah, it is what it is. Yep. Uh, we went, we made some decent passes with it. I was happy with, with what it ran. I mean, uh, on the second pass, we're this close to running in the fives with that truck. Yes. I mean, no, it, it was it's already this close to being as fast as the man van was. Yes. Like this, I, this close. one more pass, the pass that we were on the last pass when the throttle body, uh, the motor burned up or whatever happened, uh, it just closed. He asked me, well, what did it feel like? I said, it felt like I pulled my foot off the throttle. Yeah. It's exactly what it felt like. And yep. so then we got over there and he started looking. He goes, the throttle body closed. I was, Fair enough. Yeah. That's exactly what it felt like in the truck. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, uh, there is not a cable that tells that thing to stay no, open. Just it a is wire. electric wire that runs that just thing. Just a wire. And, and the solder. motor said, nah, I'm done. Yeah. So uh, something was not happy. Uh, something... And then it was a fail safe. It didn't burn it up because I still drove it back. Yeah. The fuel tech has a fail safe in it where it said, this is pulling way too many amps and it shut itself off yes. uh, before it burned itself up. Yes. So we got to figure out, I say we, the royal we, the royal we, me and all the geniuses over at fuel tech got to figure out what the next step is with that thing. Yep. Um, we went a tenth faster on that pass to the 60 foot. Yes. If you could pick up a tenth in the sixty foot, yeah, that tells me right there that we're not we're not leaning on this thing at all yet. The third pass, guys. Yep. Third pass, we went a tenth faster to the sixty foot, and and that already went really close to what we said this thing should go it, at forty six. What's that truck worth? Oh, it, right between forty five and forty six hundred pounds okay. with you in it. Yes, and that blower's that blower is <sighs> heavy. That heavy. Um, the, literally the only weight reduction that's been done to that truck is the Bogarts and the brakes and the brakes. I'm Took sorry. Like 70 pounds off of them. We did brakes. the PBM brakes. I, I <laughs> forgot those. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and there's other things that we can do. Uh, I felt we, we weren't leaving very hard with the truck. Uh, you can clearly see that in the, in the, in the video. Um, I let go of the button and then man, it shifted the, the violent, the shifts are violent. I'm just going to be honest. They're jerking my head. Like I need a Hans in that thing. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's fine tuning that has to be done for that thing to be ready. And that's the reason we didn't bring it home with us. Yeah. So, so anyways, I was pretty happy with the truck. I was pretty disappointed with the truck when we first got there. For sure. Um, and then after that. I mean, I we were talking there. about some stuff on yes. the way home. <laughs> yes. After that, I, I told him, I said, look, man, uh, I, I get what y'all are trying to do here but it's never going to be fast like this. And this was after what, the first pass? Yes. After the first pass, I said, this truck is never going to be fast like this. And uh, anybody that knows me, I'm pretty brutally honest, even though they have worked their asses off on this truck to, to get it to where it's at right now, they need some customer feedback. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that's one thing that Fuel Tech's really good at. They're good at customer feedback. Uh, they're good at racing, which enables them to further their product. Right. So I got out of the truck. I said, look, man, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This truck's never gonna be fast doing this. Uh, we were, we were locking it up. Once, once it was in gear, once, once it was in gear, once. we're locking the converter up. To make the shifts, you gotta unlock it. You gotta jerk all the power out. It's gotta make the shift. You gotta lock it back up. Then you gotta put all the power back in it. Yeah. And if you were in the truck with me, you could feel every step. That's five steps that thing's gotta do. I'm sure that there's a couple steps in between that I'm, I'm forgetting. Right. That's five steps that it's gotta do before it makes the shift. Just eating up all the ET. Yep. Uh, I, I could tell this is never gonna work. This is never, if this is how we gotta do this, it, it's gotta happen way faster. And so, I took off in the truck, it's, it's slow out of the hole, and then you can feel it come on, and then you're like, oh yeah, and then all that has to happen to make the shift. And anybody that has been in a 10R realizes it's bat, 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 yep. that's what the shifting's like. So to do all that stuff that fast, literally it would pull, it would lay over, make the shift, lock back up, add all the power back, and then it'd do it all over again. Yeah, and so I could literally feel the ET just taking, just taking it all out of it. 
So on the last pass, second to the last pass, sorry, the last full pass, mm -hmm. the one that almost went in the fives, they said, okay, let's just leave it locked up. Let's let it make the shift. Let's leave it locked, which is what everybody else does. Right. Um, with the factory ECU. Yeah. So leave the converter locked up, just make the shift. Let's see what happens. I'm sure they still jerk some timing out on the shifts. Yeah. But it's okay. Uh, for the first time, it was fine. And it was so much better. And we picked up, what, a second? Yes, it was... Uh, uh, half a second, sorry. Every pass that we made, we picked up half a second. Yeah. Well, from the first pass we made, we picked up a full second. Yeah. And then after that, the, the next two passes, we picked up five tenths, half a second uh, each pass. And then the last one, we picked up a tenth just to the sixth. So we were going to pick up probably another half a second. It... Minimal because you know they added power back into it as well yes. as you know yes. what I mean. So like, because yes. the first pass, literally there was ten degrees pulled out of the whole map. Yeah, I said, oh man, what are y'all trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> I just said, look, we knew that this transmission was on its way out whenever yeah. it was built. If this thing burns up, it is what it is. I don't care. Yeah, they we'll make new ones every day. Yep. Oh, Brent, Brent. makes new ones every day. Uh, Midnight Performance makes new ones every day. There's people out there. ATI, I hear, makes a really good one. Yep. Uh, uh, but, you know, uh, of course, everybody says that, that... Is it ATF? Yeah. It is ATF. Yep. Uh, everybody says that Midnight is... is which It's hard, it's hard to uh, deny. It's hard to deny. They got the fastest ones out there. Yep. There ain't no doubt about it. Yep. Um, uh, Brent is another guy that it's hard to deny. He's got the fastest coyote out there. Yep. Uh, I mean, they fucks with Fords. Yep. So, uh, either one of them is a good choice, in my opinion. I'm not going to say one's better than the other. I don't know. Yeah. So We know what we got. Yeah. And uh, when we started this project, we were totally cool with burning it up. You yeah. know what I mean? And then putting another one in it. We have another one, just in case we burn that yeah. one up. I mean, literally, okay, literally everything we touch, we break. I mean, it, it's part of it. Yeah. And with as hard as we are on every, literally everything we drive, we break everything we well, touch. It's part of it. And we spend our lives beating our heads off the wall. Yeah. And, and I heard that from a couple of different people. Hey man, I'm going to save you a, a lot of beating your head against the wall. Just go ahead and, and don't let fuel tech control that transmission yeah. and use the stock ECU. Eh, I like to beat my head off the wall. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. When you when you follow the next guy, you're as fast as the last guy. So which they're which, fast? Yeah, no, they're. Oops, sorry, everyone's going to complain about my mic now, being making all the noise. So, anyways, uh, you know the the truck showed me a lot of promise, and now that I see what it's going to do, literally this close to running fives in the eighth on, on the on the third hit, second, second full hit, second full hit. Yeah. So the third one, though, the, the one. The third one, like, my opinion, it was like if we'd have been running quarter mile, it went deep into eights, deep into fives, deep into eights. It, it would have I, I truly believe that. I, in my opinion, I think it would have went close to 550. It, it, was, it was dumb I, fast. I, I mean, on the, on the third pass, man. Yeah. It didn't do it. That's why I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, yeah. It didn't do it no. because, I mean, but do the math. On, on, I mean, on what we did. I, I, I can incremental. I can't too. You know what I mean? I mean, not real good at it. Yeah. I can just guess. Yeah. But remember what we had said. Man, if that thing runs in the fives, we'll be happy. Yep. It's going to go way faster than that. Yep. I mean, I say way faster than that. Don't get me wrong. I don't believe that it's going to go fours. No, but there's no chance of that. I don't, I don't think so. Not, be, not weighing that much. No. Not weighing that much. Uh, it makes a lot of power, uh, but let's just be honest, man. To run fours, that's a lot. And, and I heard that a couple of the midnight performance trucks are. But they're also, you know, a lot of weight reduction on them things. Yes. Uh, and I did hear that one of them with the 10R had been fours. I had heard that too, which is, is impressive, man. It's oh, super dude, impressive. We ain't taking nothing away from no. nobody. And we're not also saying that we're out to build the fastest Ford ever. No. We're out to build one that we can cruise around, still has the air conditioner, uh, no weight reduction. Yeah. You know, we just like to make a lot of power look i mean here's the thing you have plenty of race cars i don't want another gutted race car you don't you don't need another gutted race car with a turbo 400 and all that stuff like this but is dude, literally how fast could we make that thing oh, with a turbo 400 i mean it, it would be another race car you know what i mean it'd be faster than a 55 probably oh 100 like 100 we could gut that truck even with the 10r and i think make it faster than the 55 yeah but you're talking that thing's a thousand pounds heavier than the 55 800 yep, yep. Yeah, no, weight, weight is big, so. Yes. But, um, 
it ended up being a good day from from where we started with the truck that day to where we ended up with the truck Absolutely. that day was was pretty amazing truck super impressive i'm gonna be honest with you man i had i had thoughts in my head of of uh, that thing catching fire on the way home it would have been a crazy ordeal man, yeah, it would have, <laughs> it would have, i'd have hated have, to make that phone call guys hey we tried Yep. Uh, we had everything going our way, man. The truck burnt to the ground. We yep. don't know what happened. Yep. So, well, good luck with them, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. y'all gonna build another one? No. Yeah. No, we are not. Uh, they're cool trucks. Uh, we we've had our fair share of, of of difficulties with it. Yep. So, I do believe that it's on the right path now, and, and I really wish that we had more time to just focus on it. Yep. Unfortunately, we don't. Uh, also, I'm really gonna make all the coyote guys mad now. That thing is obnoxiously loud. It's obnoxiously grossly loud. Yes. I'm okay with obnoxiously loud because both of my Pro Charge cars are obnoxiously they loud. They sound cool, though. But they sound cool. Yeah. This is horrible. Dude, it's the Even worst. Even whenever I man. lift on the big end, watching it's the car video, pop, 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 you know? So, so uh, honestly, the next thing that we're going to do, I don't care if we lose a little bit of power, we're going to muffle that down a little bit. We'll, we'll put a couple of resonators on it because right now it has... Uh, stainless works exhaust on it yeah so but stainless works exhaust it's a it's still a, a straight through muffler it is and they're notoriously loud yep it is what it is yeah i mean that's the same muffler as it was on aiden chevelle it's loud but it sounds cool yeah it does you know why i wonder what the difference is <laughs> yeah it's not a coyote <laughs> uh, uh coyotes are amazing and they make a lot of power they sound horrible yep that's that's the only thing they miss with it, is they sound terrible like other than that like don't everybody take offense like we love it it's a great platform, but yep. man, the but sound is terrible. awful. The sound you is awful. You cannot deny that it sounds terrible. Yeah. Everybody's like, how's my coyote sound with straight pipes? <laughs> Horrible, man. Terrible. Horrible. Terrible. There's What's wrong with that? There's a lot of people out there that like it, though. They do. They do. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yep. Ford, everything, I couldn't have been happier whenever we left the track. I was happy with it. Yep. Uh, we will have somebody... Put some exhaust on it even if we lose a little bit of power i'm okay with it because at the at the end of the day we didn't build a race car no and that thing sounds like a race car and the burnouts and it's just put it up on the two-step that we actually left what was, what was we leaving 4500 oh was it that high i know it, i know high. it was 3650 at one point but uh well the converter was loose early yeah it's, it's loose early uh it's pretty tight once you lock it up but Early, it was loose. So we tried to leave pretty low. And then the thing would rip up, 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 up. And then it would flash up to about six grand. Just get oh, a big yeah. run at the converter. So we ended up having to go up on the, on the two-step because it wasn't happy. Yep. We also tried to leave in third. And it did not like it that. It didn't work. Didn't work. I, uh, I, I've seen some people do that. It, it just, I'm sure you can make it work yeah. with the right converter. Yeah. Uh, ours seems to like to leave in second. I think once we get, he wants to put a looser converter in it. That's, That's what he weird. said. That's what he had said. Yeah. I mean, so, so Suncoast actually sent us another stator. We need to look at it and, we do. and maybe holler at Ron. Well, first and we see. need to find it. And it's, then it's up there. You know where it's at? Uh -huh. Wow. I don't. Yeah. Um, Anyways, honestly, man, once we figure out what we want to do with the Ford, which we thought we knew what we wanted to do with the Ford, I started building this Ford because we thought at some point the show is going to come back and the people like the Midnight Performance guys are going to be bringing their Fords up on the street and I would run them in this. Yeah. Obviously, of, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Instead of telling them no all-wheel drives allowed, we just bring an all-wheel drive to the table. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we had races that people brought all-wheel drives. Yep. We wanted to have one in the fleet just in case. Yep. Well, obviously, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing a street show anymore, mm -hmm. which sucks. It, it's, it's just an observation. We don't know that to be a fact, but no, it's, that's kind of the way it seems. But so what we'll end up doing is we'll take that thing to some illegal street stuff. When, yeah. Or some back-of-the-track stuff. Whenever we have or, time, guys. Um we said this in the past and everybody took it as in we were quitting MPK, but we won't be doing MPK forever. Whenever we're done doing MPK, I'm going to have enough cars that we should be able to take something to every type of event. Yep. And that's what we want to do. 
Yeah, we don't want to box ourselves in to just, you know, all we got's the Nova or... Or, Which is a pretty good one to Oh, have. man. I'm sure y'all enjoyed that video. That thing is just, it's such a fun car, man. Yeah. Such a fun car. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, the, Ford, the Ford is uh, is going to be equally as fun, I truly believe, once it's all lined out. We just, we just got a ways to go, which we're, which we're working towards, you know. Fuel Tech still got the truck. They're, they're, they're still... Uh, they're D'ing. They're, they're D'ing on the, on the, transmission, sti on the uh, transmission side of things. Uh, they're getting somebody to build some exhaust for it, so it's a little quieter. Also, I don't think that they were happy with the plug selection that we had in that truck. They're the ones that told me to buy them. Yeah. I don't see what the problem is. We run those in all of our LS. They're stuff. literally once, they're tuned. once the cars are tuned, we run those Iridiums in. in, in so we run so, them in the fifty-five. So the, the the fifty-five is the very first one that I put that plug in because we were on the dyno, and Luis was tuning it right. And he said, okay, let's pull. Like, we, we just made like 1,600 horsepower. He said, okay, let's pull a plug for the first time the whole session. I was like, okay. And I pulled it to him. I handed him to BR7EF that we always ran before. And he was like, what is this? I was like, well, it's, it's my plug. And he said, here, put these in. And it was that A Iridium. Wow. And it literally, like, he didn't change nothing. No boost, no timing, nothing. Didn't change nothing. And it picked up like 14 horse on the dyno with just swapping that and, plug. And it's been running great. Yeah, so, so so that's the plug that we run in everything now, is as far as our street cars go. Yeah, so huh, it crazy. just depends on which tuners you get, you know, because Andre doesn't. Andre like Andre was not a fan. No, he was. What is this? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we were like, this is the plug. Yep, yep. No, so. Andre's not a fan of the Iridium, but no. Yeah, that will, I don't know, I guess that'll do it for the Ford. A pretty good video here. Uh, you got to see us put the brakes on. You got to see us make some passes in it finally. Uh, I know some of you are going to be disappointed that nothing exploded and that it actually ran. Sorry to disappoint you. Um, but it seems that Fuel Tech is going to And we loaded this deal it up. up under its own power. Everything was fine. Like, literally, we yep. could have run down the road to Love's in it and yep. then came back, you know, turned, you know, it wasn't warm enough for the AC, but we could have turned the AC on and uh, we yep. still need to uh, figure out the whole belt situation. I was just fixing to say something about that. Uh, it, it held up, uh -huh. but only half of it. The just alternator belt. Yes, just alternator. Yeah, belt. yeah. Uh, also, we, we got to figure out we lost a lot of boost. But so yes. whenever we made all the power with that truck, it made what thirty pounds, twenty six, twenty six or twenty seven, something like pounds. that. Yeah. Well, that crazy. last pass it made nineteen. Yes. So, so either the belt is stretching and it's starting to slip a little bit, or something. Yeah. So also we put the bigger bigger pulley back on it. Oh yeah, that's with the with the new blower, we yep. put the bigger pulley back on it. So it's got what I don't even want to say what size it is. What size is that bigger pulley? It's close to a four inch, it's right? A, it's a big. It's a three and a half, three point seven five. I can't remember honestly, it's but big. it's 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 considerably bigger than the smaller one that we put on it before. Yes. But uh I don't know, maybe the green belts aren't what they used to be. I know like Pro Charger sends this one now. You know, they used to send a green belt with their kits. Well, now this they're one, sending. This one isn't even a ten. Uh, this one's a ten. It is. Yeah. Oh well, then the Ford's a twelve. The Ford's way wider than. This is one. it? It may be a twelve. Yes. The Ford is way wider. I know it's their Billy Bad Boy system on that thing. So. I wasn't even one hundred percent sure that they made a twelve. I just know that it's bigger than that one. That's yeah. why I thought this one was an eight. The Ford was a ten. Yeah. <laughs> no, this one's a ten PK. It's definitely ten rib. The other one's a twelve then. Yeah big yep so i don't know you guys give us your suggestion on that please don't say turbos because that's not where we're at yet so what's your suggestion on a belt i mean we got a two-step on that thing just like a turbo truck i mean two-step trans brake it's ready for some pops and bangs but we're gonna we're gonna hold this whipple deal out for a little bit longer so give us your suggestion on a belt 10 rib something that will uh 12 rib 12 rib something that will last we think we think something that will last a little bit longer than I don't know. They've put the quite a few. The greenbacks used to be it. That was the thing, I man. Know. I always liked opening my hood and seeing the green belt and everything. Uh -huh. And you know, you mean business. Yep. It means you, that means you're turning that baby. Yep. Yep. So let us know what you think. Um, we'll have more updates on this as we can. Uh, Maybe a little while now because MPK is close. Maybe we'll get to test it one more time when we go test the MPK car. Yes. And uh, we'll we'll show you that five second slip once it happens. It's, 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 gonna, it's, it's gonna happen. Like, it would have happened on that last pass. I was so upset, man, because I was like, "Here we go. We're starting to get somewhere." And then, yeah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yeah. And I was going, <laughs> "Yeah." So hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.